There's really not a whole lot to take these transmissions out. Um, it was uh, four bolts. Um, and it's funny, you can actually see how these are designed to fit on several different chassis because there's like three different places you can mount it. Um, but I think ours was right here. There's four bolts. Um, this is the disengaged lever. You just kind of, like for me, I just kind of like unbolted it. It like rotated forward and this just slid out of the, the hole. You can take it off. There's a clip that holds it in here, which to go back in, I might have to do that. Two bolts. There is this electrical connector right here. There is a clip right here that the uh, pedal lever went into. That would be the, the brake pedal on the on the left side of the tractor. There was a rod that went in here as well. This is the actual like drive pedal. And that was pretty much it. Um, I think I had to take this. I just kind of loosely screwed it back in. This is like a, a belt guide. You just have to unscrew that in order to get the belt off. You put the parking brake on. That relieves a lot of tension off of the belt. Take this off and then you basically just once it's kind of unbolted you can just kind of like slip it right over. No problem. But we're going to go ahead and uh, take the fan off the top and then drain this thing out. So you can get these anywhere like Harbor Freight or something like that. That's what these are is Pittsburgh. They're just called uh, snap ring pliers. Right on the top here there is what's called a snap ring and you just put The teeth or whatever you want to call them right in those holes and spread it apart and these are also designed so it has tabs on this side which will expand so they'll they'll go from closed to open or you can mount it to the other side and then it starts out open and when you squeeze it it closes so in this case we need to start with it closed and I mean to spread it apart and something like this you want to make sure you put your hand over it because it will tend to want to fly away have like a flat blade screwdriver handy that you can kind of wedge in there once it opens up a little bit and if I can just get it in there and lift it up a little bit which it doesn't seem like it wants to do all right so this lifts off and there should be yeah, so there's a springy thing that goes between the two that guess keeps it some upward pressure on it. So I'm just going to sit that in there along with the clip and I'll just sit it over there so that I can then kick it and knock the two clips out. This doesn't have to come off. This can stay here, but I guess it does just slide off if you put a reason you need it to. What we're after is this right here. Literally, I'm not allowed to find any of the correct tools today. So I'm going to use this thing. And I do believe that they said this would fight you. So I should expect no different. Okay. So we've got, I did find a screwdriver. Um, we'll try that first. got a very dirty magnet it at least when I you know I'm used to cars so an automatic transmission magnet that looks like that I wouldn't be too worried about it what you really don't want to see is like chunks of metal like this is just fine particles so we can clean this up really good the fluid level it actually looks like it's high if you can see in there doesn't look too bad and it looks relatively full I'm going to see if I can catch it in this pan catch most of it at least yeah it doesn't look that bad all this is is uh, regular motor oil. It's uh, what I got was 5W50 full synthetic oil. This does not look bad, so oh, that fell off anyway. Should have known that. And I've got a little. Let's see if I can make that stay there. So 
let that drain. Put new fluid in it. Um, I'll clean the magnet off. It's kind of good to slosh them around a little bit, I think. Let's just try to get as much out of it as you can. We're getting a little more at that angle. So this is what I got to replace it. Two quarts of Castrol Edge 5W50. Evidently it takes just a hair over two quarts, so if anything else I need, I'll probably just throw some 5W30 in it. Shouldn't be fine. Some people are using 5W30 in these things, so it shouldn't be a problem. Just use some carb clean on the, I don't have any brake clean left, so I'll just use carb clean to clean this magnet off. Could it actually come apart? I'm not even, I guess it, I guess it just sits in that little groove. So, you can clean it a little bit better that way. Pretty clean. And, I mean, it, it is good to see that this thing wasn't caked in oil around the outside. It means it's not leaking from anywhere. Those are cleaned up. I think we got a good bit of fluid out of it now. We'll make sure we clean this pulley up. We don't need to have oil on the belt. That certainly will not help the situation any. Really should use brake clean for this. Because like I've said before, there is a little bit of oil in this but it shouldn't be enough that it would matter that much. And we'll see how much we can get in this thing with it just sitting like this. I may have to um, sit it up on like jack stands or something so the wheels can turn and we may have to actually spin it and try to bleed out some of the air in this thing. But we'll see if, we, if I can get the two quarts in then I know that it's full. But from what I've seen, a lot of times you have to kind of manually uh, run it a little bit. Normally at first for these things to not work properly when you first do this service because again it might have some air in it but the more you run it back and forth the better it gets. So you're getting most all of it in here. There's both quarts so we know it's got yeah I mean there's it's pretty much full. All right, so this is just regular 5 to be a 30. All right, I got the dirtiest funnel I could find. I blew it out though. Kind of just wedge it over on that side because that seems to be where the space is. But also so I can try to see it. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, so, and of course I make a mess. Uh, well, we all knew that was gonna happen, right? This is doing nothing besides making more of a mess. set in there like that. Might as well clean this off. This is just the plug. Yeah, this goes right back on. So let me Try to get as much of this oil off here because, like I said before, you know, you have oil all over something, it attracts dirt right to it. So, we want to get as much of that off as possible. All right, watch your eyes.
All right, that's good enough. Made in China. Made in the United States, my arse. It says right on the tractor, made in the United States with Chinese parts. It's made in the United States using global, what do they, they say, it's right there. Assemble it in USA using global components. That's the thing now. I remember when I always told you to pay attention to the way you take things off. So, as long as you can just look at the, the witness marks of the way something sat. So this has three little grooves, which we kind of line up with that. So that goes that way. That means that this goes on this way. Then the fan goes on. Pretty sure it goes like that. So now that clears. Then we put our little snap ring back on. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes when you put it back on, you can just get it and just kind of do that. All right, so that's back on. So we've done the change. Basically now we just need to put it back on the tractor and see how it does. Mm -hmm. 